Now let's continue with the next video on basics of MATLAB. This is the second video of the first video entitled Matrices in MATLAB. And in this video, we are going to operate on the matrices using basic mathematical operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. And we're going to look at how does these operations behave for scalar uh, matrices in MATLAB and also the vector and uh, higher dimensional matrices in MATLAB. So we're going to start off by defining the matrix that we'll be working on. The first one is A. The second matrix is B. And the third matrix is C. So this is a 2 by 4 matrix, while B is a vector matrix. Specifically, it's the column vector matrix, and C is a scalar matrix. So let's try operating on these matrices using mathematical operations. Let's start off with the addition operator. What happens if we were to add in the number 10 to the matrix A? knowing that matrix A has uh, multi-elements. So here you can see that if you were just to add in the scalar matrix 10 into A, what happens is MATLAB would add in each element of the matrix A with the value 10. How about if we were to multiply A with 5? Then we'll do the same thing. It will just multiply each element with the value 5. This is what's called element by element mathematical operation. How about if b divided by 2, let me just show b first, and then b divided by 2. Since 2 is a scalar matrix, then MATLAB would just divide each element in the matrix b with the value 2. What if a to the power of c, now c is a, the value 5, so what will happen? you get an error, because for uh, exponentiation, works differently than all the other mathematical operations where you need to specify that the exponentiation operation with the value c is an element by element. So to solve this error, we just need to use this notation. a to the power of dot means that we would force MATLAB to um, exponentiate each element of a with the scalar matrix c. Oops, I forgot. It should be this way. The dot is before the exponentiation. And there. So each value in a is exponentiated by the value 5. What if we would like to perform addition and subtraction on similar rows and columns matrices? Here I need to define another matrix D as an example. And let's try to add A and D. So what happens is that the first element of A would add with the second element of uh, the first element of D and the second element of A would add in with the second element of D. What if you like to add in A and C? In this case, you will, MATLAB will recognize that C is a scalar matrix, while A is a 2 by 4 matrix, and it will just add in each element of A with C. But if you tried A plus B, knowing that A is a 2 by 4 while B is a 1 by 4 matrix, it will give an error saying that the matrix dimension does not agree. If you like to add or subtract, then you would have to have the same dimension, the same rows and columns for the matrix that you like to add or subtract. Now let's look into matrix multiplication. There's two types of matrix mul multiplication in MATLAB. One is the algebraic dot product, and the second type is the element by element multiplication, which you've seen. The algebraic dot product is if you like to multiply or dot product between A and B, but there are very specific criteria for you to multiply such uh, matrices. I'm just going to type this in for example. So in this case, we are multiplying the matrix A and B, and matrix A has uh, x1 number of rows and y1 number of columns, while B has x2 number of rows and y2 number of columns. So for this to uh, proceed or to result in the actual dot product operation of these two matrix, the, the column of A 
would have to be equal to the number of rows of B, which means that Y1 needs to equal to X2 before you can dot product between A and B. And the resulting matrix would give you X1 number of rows with Y2 numbers of columns. So let's start with a, an example. So I'm going to define a new set of matrices. I'm going to clear my workspace by typing the command clear and also clear my command window to start fresh. So A equals to 1, 2, 6, 3, while B is 3D. So the A matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix, the B is a 4 by 1 matrix, D is a 2 by 2 matrix, and E is a 1 by 4 matrix. So let's try a few multiplication um, operations on these matrices. Let's say if I multiply A and D, let's look at the result. Now A and D, MATLAB recognizes that A is a 2 by 2 matrix and D is a 2 by 2 matrix. So it would automatically assume what we like is the dot product operation, where the result is the dot product of A and D, and not the element by element multiplication of A and D. If you you'd like to know more about dot product, you can Google search on um, what is a dot product to get up to speed on what is happening here. Uh, but basically, what happens is that the operation is where one and two would multiply with two and two and add. To give you the first element here and 1 and 2 will multiply with a 2 and 2 here to get the product here. It's not within the scope of this video to explain about the dot product so I suggest you google search on what it means by a dot product between two matrices. Moving on, how about if we multiply B and E where B is a 4 by 1 and E is a 1 by 4. Notice that 4 by 1, 1 by 4 the column of B is equal to the num number of rows in E, which makes it be able to multiply, and the resulting matrix has a dimension of 4 by 4. So if you multiply B and E, there will be no error, and you'll get a 4 by 4 matrix using the dot product operation. And how about A times B? So let's uh, refresh our memory what is A. A is a 2 by 2, while B is a 4 by 1. You see here that the this number and this number is not equal so if you were to press enter on this a times b you get an error saying that the matrix dimension does not agree which uh, means that MATLAB is not able to perform the dot product operation on a and b because the matrix requirements the rows and column specifications requirements are not met to multiply between these two to to perform the dot product operation on these two matrices now what if you like to perform element by element multiplication? Don't forget to put in the full stop symbol in front of the multiplication symbol. In this case, A times D. So A is this 2 by 2 and D is 2 by 2, matrix 2. And what happens is that it will not, even though these two, if you do not put the element, this dot here, it would perform a dot product operation. But since you put a dot here, so MATLAB knows that you like to operate element by element wise so 1 times 2 is 2 here 2 times 2 is 4 here 6 times 2 is 12 and 3 times 2 is 6 here now division there's two types of matrix division in MATLAB the first is the left or right matrix division and the second is the element by element division so the, the left division is something like so x equals to a slash b this and the second is x equals to b slash a. Notice that the difference is the, the left division is this and the right division is so. Now the left division is for is the solution for this matrix operation. It means if you like to define what x is then um, you use the left division and the right division if you like to solve this matrix operation. Now the left division requires that A and B have the same number of rows. 
while the right division requires that A and B have the same number of columns. Again, this is a topic taught in the mathematics class of matrix operations, similar to the dot product operation. So if you'd like to know more about what it means by solving these two matrices using this method, then I suggest you to search for the information on those. So an example, let's say you have these two um, equations that you like to solve. These two equations have two unknowns, x and y, and you've arranged it in this way. You can write this in matrix notation, 0 0.5, 1 1.2 in the first column, 0 0.3, 1 1.4 in the second column, and x and y in another matrix with the results 5 and 8. So this matrix is the A matrix, and this x and y is the x matrix that you like to solve. When I say solve is you like to determine the value of x and y and this is the b matrix. So to solve this you would use the left division. So first I will start off with defining a. And then define b. And to determine x and y value I'll just type in x equals to a. And so this is my x and my y value, solving that those two equations, linear equations simultaneously. Uh, so MATLAB will be a very useful tool to solve multiple linear equations. One application that, I, that comes to mind is if you perform mass balance on a system that has multiple components and multiple streams, which could easily go more than five equations to solve. Moving back to the element, uh, to the division operation in MATLAB, how do we perform an element by element division in MATLAB? So if I would like to uh, divide element by element between the matrix A and D, so I would just type in A and don't forget the dot in front of the operation and the, the next matrix that we like to operate to divide with D and what happens is that each element would be divided by the each element of the second matrix now what happens if we uh, we divide a value can be either in scalar vector or even higher dimensional matrix by zero in MATLAB so let's say we use A the matrix A and we divide it by zero what will happen is that it's going to produce this. Uh, it will still compute, but it's going to create a matrix with the INF, which stands for infinity matrix. Now for exponentiation. Just like multiplication and division, there are two types of exponentiation. There's the matrix with matrix exponentiation, and there's the element by element exponentiation. Uh, we'll start off with the example of a square matrix A is to 2 by 2 with the elements of the value 2 and if we like to obtain a to the power of a then we'll just type in as a hat symbol 2 and you'll get this but this is the same as a dot product a so you can approach this in two different ways one is by using the hat symbol and the other is by using the dot product now how about an element by element exponentiation just like you would expect, let's say we like to exponentiate each element in A to the power of 2, then we'll have to use the full stop symbol with the hat with a scalar value and by pressing enter you'll get the result of where each element is to the power of 2. Okay, so in this video I covered um, all the mathematical operations, that's uh, not all but the most common mathematical operations in MATLAB. Uh, which is the addition operation, uh, addition and subtraction is the same. The multiplication operation, which uh, involves two uh, types of operation, the dot product operation and the uh, element by element operation. The division operation, which is also involves two, which is the left and right division operation that involves matrix and the element by element division. And also the exponentiation operation, or the power of operation, uh, which is similar to the multiplication operation. So that covers the basics uh, of op mathematical operations and if you have any comments then you can write in the comment section below and um, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to have more introductory videos on MATLAB or other chemical engineering videos uh, or any of the courses that I teach in, um, in my institution and uh, I'll see you in the next video.